now we will see how to uh, insert node at the beginning uh, our requirement here is the first requirement is insert a node at beginning now whatever may be the operation uh, whatever you are doing sometimes uh, there will be some generic case uh, generic case and some special cases so some generic case special case so that you will understand uh, why we need to consider the special cases sometimes the generic case itself will take care of the logic of special case sometimes it may not be so here when i take insert at beginning now the generic case is uh, when list is when list is list is already there so list has some elements already there means list has some uh, nodes now list is empty special case is list is empty so each time you have to consider some special cases in uh, insert a node at beginning so generic cases when the list is already there suppose if i take uh, there is already a linked list with some uh, items or nodes like this is referring to this and this is referring to this and uh, uh, the last node will be none and uh, there will be start start which will be referring to this first node so this may be 10 20 30 now this is the general case and special case is when start is empty start is empty which is indicated by none so these are the two cases we have to consider now when it is a generic case whatever the case is there are two one is generic when the list is already there we have to insert at the beginning and when the list is empty now whatever whether it is generic case or special case the first thing what we have to do here is uh, the first step is step one is create a node create a node now create a node means i have to create a node something like this uh, and create a node and read data into the node read data read data into node so uh, read data into node so uh, suppose if it is 10 i may be uh, adding 10 here and this is the, the new node give some create a node new node a new node and read data into data part into data part of the node this is uh, the uh, minimum thing you have to do so here what i'll do is i'll uh, go to this here uh, we have to write a function uh, method within this so the required method the first required method here is uh, first required method is uh, uh, define insert at beginning at beginning so this is the one so here what we require only self so to do this first what i'll do is i am creating the node so i'll create a node called nd so how do i create by calling the constructor so i am calling this constructor uh, when i say node here i am calling this constructor and uh, the constructor requires data so before i build the node i'll read the data so data equals to int because it will be string i'm uh, type casting into int uh, then I'll say enter data to insert enter data to insert I am reading and the data I'll pass so when I pass the data it a node is created with data part and uh, there will be none here there will be none so I'm creating some data here and there will be none so th the node is created next what is the next step see uh, first we will consider the generic case now the generic case is start is referring to this and uh, assume that this is suppose 40 just uh, because 10 is already there it does not matter even if it is duplicate so uh, i am creating a node now uh, i am considering the special case this uh, i am considering this generic case not special case when the list is already there here what i had to do now 
this node because uh, we, our aim is insert at the beginning this node is going to become this node is going to become this node uh, is going to become first node going to become starting node starting node now what will be the subsequent node for this the uh, starting node till this is inserted starting node till uh, new node is added so that is this node so what i have to do now make the uh, link part of new node refer to this made link part of the node refer to this so that is uh, step three so made link part of new node refer to starting node starting node till then so what is the starting node till then is here and those details uh, those details are available in start so to do this make link part so how to refer the link part nd dot next in python and because now uh, the starting uh, start is pointing or referring to the uh, first node till that time till new node is inserted i'll make start here so when i write this statement nd dot next equals to start nd dot next equals to start then what is going to happen this link is set now now start is still pointing to this now start should be made to point to this so start equals to nd so these are the two steps you have to write so the next step is step four is step four make start variable start start variable start variable refer to new node refer to new node so how do you do that with the help of this this uh, statement is for this this is a general statement algorithm pseudo code this is actually python code this is for this so this is how we have to do it now we'll check whether this generic case will work for special case or not so before that i'll write the python code here so i have created the node now what i have to do uh, nd dot next equals to start and start equals to uh, nd so this this is the thing we have to do it now uh, i had to check because sometimes the generic logic this is the generic logic we will take care of this special case but sometimes it may not be so one special case is here when the list is empty so when the list is empty so what is going to happen we'll see with the with this code what is going to happen we'll see then we'll know whether this is working fine or not so when list is empty start is none list is empty start is none now i am creating new node new node i have created and data will be moved into this and this is anyhow we are making none whether we make it none or not it does not matter now what is going to happen now uh these two steps are over made link part of new node refer to the starting node what is starting node none so if i execute this then again this none is going to be stored here it does not matter because uh, it is it is the requirement for the generic case now even in special case we want uh, because this is new node is going to be the last node because it is going to be the uh, just added node into the linked list so it is going to be the last node the link field of the last node will be none anyhow i am moving none into this so this works fine next start is nd means now uh, start is no more referring to this uh, start is no more none sorry start is no more none and uh, we are copying uh, uh, this node so it will refer to this so uh, this logic the generic logic work fine even when the list is empty so this is uh, uh, the logic uh, which takes care of both generic and special cases and it works fine 
now we'll check whether uh, to check this we require display uh, uh, before we uh, ensure whether this is correct or not we'll uh, traverse through the linked list so traverse through the linked list so that we'll see before we ensure uh, whether uh, the linked list is uh, fine or not uh, the uh, logic whatever we have written fine or not so uh, what we do is we'll say traversal we'll do traversal for uh, to display so traversal is to do some processing the processing we are doing is display so uh, we'll assume that the linked list is already there if it is not there also it does not matter so this is start is pointing to uh, this so this is 10 this is 20 and referring to this and uh, 20 is referring to this and this is 40 and this is none now to traversal means traversal is the technique of visiting each and every node to do some processing the processing we are going to do is display so what we have to do is uh, the first step to do traversal is uh, take a temporary pointer I'll write here. So step one, take a temporary reference, temporary variable. In general sense, I am writing a temporary reference refer to starting. So what we do, what we do in this case is we'll take a reference called current because it will be referring to the current node. So take a temporary reference refer to starting node. Now current is referring to this. Now what we have to do is repeat the loop, build the loop, loop till uh, temporary reference which is current. Here I'll say temporary reference as current uh, is none. Loop till current is not none so as long as it is not none i have to repeat it so this is step two here what i have to do is now uh, when it is not none uh, what i'll do is i'll uh, print the data step 2.1 so print data of current node current data and after we print make current refer to the next node how do you do that step 2.2 how do you do it current equals to current next so this is how we do it so make current refer to the next one and this is uh, this will be keep on repeated till uh, the end of the linked list is reached once uh, uh, how uh, uh, the end of the linked list uh, uh, is uh, known with the help of current becoming none when current becomes none it is the end of the linked list and it is going to be terminated now uh, one special case what you can do here is in this i am not mentioned we'll write it in python if the list is empty you say just list is empty otherwise start doing this so this is uh, the uh, the general logic so i'll write uh, for the traversal which is for display so i'll say display so I'll always there will be self so I'll say uh, if uh, this is a special case if uh, list is empty start is equals to equals to none that means it list is empty list is empty so if list is empty what I'll do is I'll say print simply list is empty and I'll stop the uh, job which is the display so i'll say return suppose if list is not empty then this uh, uh, this code will be applicable this code will be applicable when the list is uh, not empty so what i'll do is i'll take current equals to self dot start then uh, make a loop while while current not equals to none even this uh, takes care when the list is empty but uh, it is not going to print anything but uh, when it is not doing anything we may not be knowing what is happening uh, 
uh, even though this uh, particular uh, loop uh, current not equals to none will take care of the list is empty but uh, the thing is it is not going to display anything so i am keeping it separately so that the things are clear now i am saying current not equals to none here when current is not equals to null i'll print whatever data present there current data and just uh, after that i'll have a symbol for arrow, uh, arrow symbol to indicate that the subsequent node is going to be displayed and end uh, i'm uh, displaying empty because otherwise it will display a new line uh, it displays it will uh, move to the new line but i want all the nodes to be displayed uh, uh, one after the other in the same line then what i have to do is i have to move the current current next so this is the logic for display so now i have node at the beginning uh, insert node at the beginning so there is some error here okay self uh, none it is okay what i'll try to use this oh okay i have to write uh, colon there so that is the problem so now i think it's okay now it's okay now i'll uh, execute the main again i'll execute call the main so the loop is repeated uh, the uh, menu is displayed so first menu is displayed i have only two uh, three options now one is uh, uh, insert at beginning display and uh, exit so first uh, when i say display the list is empty it says list is empty is it not showing so i'll uh, check what uh, what has happened here so uh, i'll re-execute this i think i have to execute i'm not have i executed or not I check so beginning start equals to equals to none list is empty return so beginning i'll correct this here uh, where i have written only six uh, this option six here i have to write all so that is uh, that is the reason why it is uh, uh, doing this so option equals to one so what i have to do is uh, insert at beginning i'm calling that suppose if uh, option equals to equals to five so i'll say display then uh, else if option equals to equals to six then i'm saying break so this is uh, the logic so i'll re-execute this so else if sorry uh, else if okay so uh, now i'll run it again when i run it so now uh, the list is empty now when list is empty if i execute five it says list is empty is it not saying five display uh, what is happening here okay so if it is five display uh, sorry i had to build uh, create the linked list i have to call the linked list i am not doing that so that is the reason uh, it is so i'll say list equals to linked list i have not at all created the linked list so that is a blunder so these are all the methods of the class so i have to call with that object list insert so list is a keyword so i don't want to mess it up with keywords so i'll say linked list l list so i'll say l list insert then l list display now it should be fine so i'll execute this now i'll execute this so when the list is empty uh, now it should say list is empty so it says list is empty so this is fine now i'll add the node 
at the beginning so i'll say one option one so it asks for data so i'm inserting 10. so there is something error here what is that error uh, local variable start refer okay i think here i should have given self dot start somewhere yeah here i should say self dot start because otherwise it takes the local uh, makes it as a local variable it will create a new local variable so uh, it is actually related with self so there is something uh, mistake there so i'll re-execute that execute this then i'll execute this now insert at the beginning so i'll insert 10 now it should be fine so it has it is inserted we could give some message that uh, uh, a node uh, inserted successfully okay it's okay now i'll display so uh, when i say display 10 should be displayed so 10 it is displaying it's okay again i'll insert one more at the beginning so i'll say 20 so uh, i'll say 5 now 20 and 10 will be displayed so 20 and 10 because i'm in keep on inserting at the beginning i have only one way of insertion which is beginning uh, the remaining i have not written i'm going to write it so uh, insert now if i say i have inserted 30 so it should be 30 20 10 so everything is working fine whatever code we have written it is working fine only thing here is uh, i'll add uh, here a message saying that uh, the node is inserted successfully so i'll say print uh, i'll do formatted printing uh, the node with data data inserted at beginning successfully so this is i want just uh, i i am giving this message so otherwise it is working fine so the node with data data inserted successfully uh, that's what i want uh, at the beginning at at, at the beginning beginning uh, beginning so beginning so i'm doing some spelling mistake so beginning uh, so now we'll uh, test it again just uh, to clarify it uh, i'll do it again so i have created again uh, when i do modification it is uh, required to compile again uh, okay insert so i'll insert 25 and now it says node the node with data 25 inserted at the beginning successfully okay now if i say 5 uh, 5 25 is displayed so this is what i want so this uh, we terminate the remaining like insert at the end and insert after given node delete